Hola YouTube, this is Aqua Ninja, and I'm bringing you a new video. Essentially, when I started my first channel, uh, I wanted this to be the an original content where essentially I would have like little like one-on-ones with people and we would discuss modern day issues like uh, topics like race, sex, gender, and see our own point of view on it and how we uh, partake such issues. Um, so I'm coming at you with uh, Sabrina right here in the corner. Hey guys. And uh, essentially we're going to talk about something that I think plagues like 95% of Americans and uh, people from the UK or wherever country you're from. And that is, uh, is weight in general. Um, it's pretty much uh, like a very prominent thing in communities because society molds, you know, how our brain works and how we perceive things. It's like, oh, you know, you need to be this, you need to look like this, you need to have this type of uh, status in order to be, you know, widely accepted. And, you know, you see time and time again on movies, magazines, you know, all types of things where you see these, like, unrealistically thin models, and they try to push that off to you as if, like, that's the only way you can be. You know, if you're not this, you know, conformed person, you're not, you're not, you know, good. You're basically not, you know, of that level. And um, I always felt like, you know, come on, bro. Like, let's be real. Nobody looks like this. Even, I mean, obviously proven that these models don't even look like that. You know, even they're photoshopped to look a certain way. They, you know, thinner legs, curvier physiques and things like that. So when models don't look like the things in magazines, you know there's an issue. And the problem is that teenage girls and, you know, all these tweens and things like that, they, they foresee this and they're like, oh, you know, I need to be this. Uh, like, a, like a really big one is like thigh gaps. You know, like a lot of girls, they see that and they're like, you know, wow, I need to have this like thigh gap. But let's be real, only like 10% of girls actually have a thigh gap. And, you know, if you don't have it, it's not like you're the weird one. You're in the majority, you know. The other girls that do have it, that's the, that's the weird thing, you know what I mean? So, like... How many guys do you know that actually care about thigh gaps? We don't, no, no guy gives a shit about thigh gaps. You got thick thighs, let's go, you know, like, <laughs> nobody cares about that. So, like, they try to make you believe that, you know, we care about, like, things like that. Nobody, we don't care about that. You know, the things we care about is, I'm not going to lie to you and say we don't care about looks. We definitely care about looks, but not, like, superficial things like thigh gaps. You know, how do you feel about that? Um, I definitely agree with you, but I've never given in to that. I just basically see what I feel is happy. Of course, there's like pressure to be a certain way, and I think that influences the way we think, but I don't really give in to the pressure, you know? Yeah. I go off of, as long as I'm healthy, I don't really care whether that fits in society's category, you know? But come on, you know society kind of peer pressures you into believing that you got to be thin, though. Definitely. I mean, <laughs> but I never let them. I just do what I want to do, and I'm not exactly thin, am I? <laughs> I so I definitely don't get into that. And, like, um... But like more like on a on a on a cultural level, you know how like how fat shaming is is kind of like the norm, you know. And most most people they kind of like see like bigger girls and they fat shame. Um, yeah. I know I know like a lot of guys that you know like as soon as they see a girl over X amount of weight, they're like, nah, I can't I can't fuck with that. Like no matter how good they look in the face or, or the body, and they're just like you know, you know, it's too big for me or whatever. And I mean. As as a girl like that, I, I you know like I know it would definitely hurt to be in that category, but um, I feel like I feel like nowadays, especially in like 2015, it kind of even switched the cycle where uh, big girls are now like skinny shaming. You know what I mean? Like inadvertently, like a lot of their new uh, hashtag models, like you know, embrace your curves or uh, f your beauty standards and things like this are counterintuitive because now you're you're not you're not only promoting big girls but you're kind of like saying oh if you're not big then you know you know fuck you too 
And like, come on, like that that's just as bad as that. That's like the bully getting bullied, you know what I mean? That's just as bad as you know, reversing the cycle. You know what I mean? Yeah. So um. I've never like really been on that side of the thing, but um, I definitely agree with you. It happens on both sides. I don't think there's ever going to be a time where people are going to be like, "Oh, this is a perfect way," or yeah. you, "Whether skinny is this good or whatever," you know. Exactly. People are always going to have different opinions, and for some people, fat people are okay, but other people are skinny, attractive, you know. Yeah, Different. exactly. There's always gonna be that stigma of like, you know, which which is the best uh, way to be. And the, the funny thing is, most people may or may not know this, but in like certain countries in Africa, uh, bigger women are highly regarded as like beautiful. So uh, like a lot of guys seek out big girls, and I'm not they're not talking about like, you know, kind of plump girls. They're talking about big girls. Like the bigger you are, uh, the more it shows that you know you're eating well, that you're healthy. So that actually shows that, you know, you, you have the credentials to make, you know, good babies and that you're, you know, you're, you're well fed. Um, and a lot, and, you know, other nations are trying to like kind of, you know, pick up that same stride, you know, like um, other countries in that n near Turkey and things like that. They also like, you know, see BBWs coming up, uh, big, beautiful women, if you, you know, are not familiar with the term. Uh, but it seems like, <laughs> right. but it seems like. The, that United States is like kind of like the latest and you know UK as well where they you know we don't see it the same way you know what I mean like it's such a niche group that likes big girls that it's almost like a fetish you know at this point like if you like big girls then you're the weird one you know what I mean like you can't you can't just like big girls because you like big girls like, I like all girls like you know what I mean whether you are uh, black white Indonesian Asian uh, Latin um, you know Syrian, Ukrainian, you know, all shades of the color, all sizes. I mean, any girl can be attractive. Now, I'm not saying I like every girl. That'd be a whole different topic. But I feel like there's definitely beauty within every girl. And um, I use a classic example. If you've ever seen the movie Shallow How, how he is essentially this really shallow dude who, you know, a lot of the things, they they come up on him and they, and they basically... Um, he, he only attracts to really hot chicks, They're like a lot of guys. You know, they see what they see on the outside and they perceive that as beauty. Um, but along the movie, he basically gets hypnotized into believing that there is um, another way to look at women. And he gets cursed into, into seeing only the inner beauty in women. So all the girls that he before would like play off, he's like, ah, come on, you, you, you ladies, you know, get out of here. Now he's seeing them as these beautiful models and vice versa with the beautiful girls are like now like, you know, sort of unappealing because they their personalities weren't as as fine tuned. And that's kind of how I foresee women, you know, and, and, and that's how I picture women in general, because you got to see everything about a woman is 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 come like like almost like a work of art. You know what I mean? Like each woman has what they uniquely and individually have is beautiful. That's why whether you're big or you're thin you know, you can be beautiful. I definitely agree. Yeah, so how do you feel about that, though? I agree with everything you said. Um, I don't think it just applies to women either. You know, um, it definitely applies to men. They get fat shamed or skinny shamed, as you say. Um, I've seen it for myself. Uh, so, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, huh? yeah, I was saying that, like, you, like just like that with 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 fat shaming, it's kind of like, um, yeah, guys. That's another side of the story that you know, you know, may not even be addressed. Is like, you know, that they get it too. You know, um, big guys. You know, well, see, I feel like guys get it a little easier than girls because see, certain girls like big guys. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like they got that. You, you're a big guy. You know, and I bet somebody is going to be like, yeah, I, I actually like big guys. So I feel like big guys have, you know, less stigma. More girls are just highly, you know, in the media a lot. And, you know, society puts a lot more pressure on girls than guys. So I will agree. I agree with every girl that says that. Like, I definitely think 
the social standards for girls are just a lot harder. But um, guys as whole, you know, we just we just kind of always are the hunters. You know, we're we're seeking out the women. So it's like your job to basically attract us to make us want to come after you. And um, when when and when society is like, hey, you know, you don't really like that these type of girls, then you know we kind of don't seek after that. Uh, me being excluded from that, like I I like all types of girls. You know. Yeah. Which What's your experience on that whole like topic of like weight and how guys perceive you? Um. <laughs> there's so many different experiences I've had. Be real with it. Be real. I've had guys who like me for my curves, and then like my ex. I shouldn't really say that. <laughs> but like an ex-boyfriend. Um. He dated me for being skinnier than I am, and as soon as I gained weight, our relationship ended. So it was, he would say it was for different reasons, but then he came out and said, it would, like, be honest, like, a few years later, he was like, it was because I gained weight. And um, for me, it is, I have a thyroid issue, so that plays a part, but that me words because of grieving after losing someone that I comforted. So, yeah. yeah. I've been on both the things, you know. Like, some guys like curves, some don't. So, you can't judge someone and be like, oh, well, you're wrong for thinking that because it's personal preferences. Exactly. Like, every every guy's own little personal, uh, you know, preference of how they 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 like women. Um, yeah. and that's why as a girl you can't be like you know you can't be too biased about what type of guys you go after mm-hmm. and oh, and just for anybody who doesn't know you she's she's a curvier woman uh, Sabrina right I there. think the both yeah <laughs> uh, so that's kind of like how that's kind of like my viewpoint on it you know what I mean like don't judge people based on outward appearance you know what I mean because mm-hmm. Big girls feel a certain way about things. Um, skinny girls do too. So, you know, like you, you've really got to base things based on the character and how you feel about that person. Because, exactly. trust me, a I lot of... It's not the main thing. Exactly. A lot of times you're going to be surprised about what, what people's real character is like. You know, the, the, the girls you may uh, have dismay about, you know, you'd be like, ah, you know, she's, you know, she's like this. That might be the coolest chick ever. And you, feel, and you realize like, you know, I lost a lot because I didn't give that girl a chance. Or on the flip side for girls, you know, like that guy, like, um, you know, just because he's not what you stand, you typically go for, maybe that may be the right guy for you. You just have to, you know, actually go out there and switch up your vibe a little bit and not always go for the same stereotypical guy. Because uh, like we talked about earlier, like a lot of girls, they they don't realize that you know, they say, well, you know, I always attract ain't shit guys, you know, I'm always attracting all these fuck boys and stuff like that. And <laughs> it's like, well, you are a reflection of what you put in. So if the only thing you can attract is these fuck boys, then you're probably a fuck girl. Like, let's just be real. Like, <laughs> new term, if you didn't, if I, I just coined that. Um, where, you know, like, if you, if you always attract the ancient people, most likely it's because you ain't shit, you know what I mean? Like, let's, let's keep it a hundred. And, you know, girls don't want to hear that, but that's, that's the, the truth and, and the actuality of it. You know, you're probably only going after one type of guy. If you go after the football playing guy who has eight girls, what do you think is going to happen? You know, like, you think he's going to be this faithful guy just for you? Oh, baby, I love you and stuff like that. Nah, he's going to be real. He's going to be the same person. He was before you met him, as after you met him, and then you know, like, you know, like I, <laughs> you you hear you hear multiple stories about the same thing, but it's always the same result. You can't you can change a guy sometimes, but that's if he wants to be changed. You know, like for the most times, it's just like it's just like wait, you can't alter how your body handles things. You know what I mean? I'm I'm a thin dude because my metabolism is like you're gonna be thin. You know, I go eat you know that bag of Doritos over there. Uh, shout out to the Cool Ranch flavor, but you know, like you know, I could eat a hundred bags of that. I'm still gonna be thin at the end of the day because you know I'm just gonna work it out. 
I'm gonna sweat it out, and I'm pretty active, so I'm you know I'm gonna I'm gonna sweat that out. But certain certain people they can work out and they can exercise. You can see the the video on YouTube about the the lady who does exercise, and she's like you know like really big, and you know she has like that medical condition, and like you know people are like oh you know it's fake you know she still eats them like that, but I mean you gotta realize that everybody has a different type of body, so certain people they naturally put on weight and you know they can do whatever they want to to stop it but they just put it on so to all the women that you know have you know issues like that with their weight and they you know feel subconscious about it let's be real you can feel subconscious about it you know like <laughs> as a black male like i feel subconscious about being black sometimes you know like it's it's just a it's a, a thing about society you know you if you're not the stereotypical like white male uh, that, you know, is from a privileged family, you're going to feel self-conscious in some way of society. So you got to just learn to overcome that and use that as your confidence. Because at the same way that, that you feel like, you know, you're, you're, you're underprivileged, I promise you, I can promise you right now, you can, you can give me reparations if I'm right, that there's somebody out there who wants you for exactly who you are. I can guarantee you that. And... Like, like, Sabrina may hate, she may hate her curves, but, you know, I'm here to tell you that there's some guy that is like, I want a girl who is super duper curvy. So, you know, like, it's, it's, it all, it's all about how you, how you see that. Or just like me, like, you know, there might be a guy who's like, I want to, I want a guy who's like that, that caramel chocolate complexion. And I'm like, you know, like. That that may be her that may be her like little fetish that may be what turns her on. So I can't you know I can't help you know being any other way. Like that's that's the way I'm born. You know what I mean? So you you kind of got to use what your quote unquote weaknesses to your advantage. And that's why if you see my my later videos um, about confidence and things like that, you notice that like I'm talking to these different people and it's kind of like it's not even about you know trying to get the girl. It's honestly just me showing that. With confidence, you can get anything. Literally, you just have to you just have to believe in yourself and know that you can do it. And nine times out of ten, you're gonna get it, or whatever the objective is. Can I get a hello there? No, I'm joking. Uh, shout out to Infinite Water for that one, though. Um, but uh, this is pretty much gonna conclude this video. Like, uh, you know everybody in the world like embrace your gift you know what I mean like embrace whatever makes you unique if you if you feel subconscious about it then I'm telling you that is that's what you have to use as your strength like that's literally what you that's what you were made to do you know what I mean the more subconscious you feel about it I promise you use that energy to feel confident about it if you're a big girl and you're like hey you know what um, you know, like girl, guys always looking at my, my stomach region. Let's be real. Come on. I'm, I'm, I'm always going to keep it 100 with you. Then, you know what? Show them your stomach. You know? Go out the ordinary. Because you have to be... The people that are successful in the world, they always break the, the norms. They're not going to be the typical straight narrow. Because the straight narrow is the everyday guy. If you want to be the everyday person that has the same job, the same mineral wages, all that, you can do that. But... You want to break away, you want to be the Steve Jobs of the world. Notice what Steve Jobs did. He's like, hey, I'm going to go to college. Um, I'm going to, you drop out. I'm going to still secretly take classes there. I'm mean, still sit in on classes. I'm going to look at these programming languages like uh, calligraphy. Who, who knows about calligraphy? Let's be real. Like, that's the people that's going to be innovative. That's the people that's going to be game changers in the world. People that go away from the normal path of life. So I'm making these YouTube videos. I'm not going to be the normal person. Like, I'm, I'm always going to be doing things different. Um, shout out to Google on that one, too. Um, but let me conclude this video, because if I don't, I'm, I'm going to be here all day. All right? Uh, check out my latest videos, um, youtube.com slash C slash Aqua Ninja. And keep being healthy, be strong, be confident. Peace.